Today is the 1st of February and I just had a look on my main at the new trading post and now finally this gorgeous thing is in the game. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take a look at the adventure guide, what we can do, complete a bunch of quests. This is usually very easily done on a tune because, well, quests are everywhere available and most of them are pretty easy. Oh, it's cataclysm or time walking anyway. All right. What do we have here? Oh yeah, I saw <laughs> I saw this. Uh, I already have this. Oh. Oh. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to spend stuff on this. Ah, a new bow. The thing is, they never show you if it also has new arrows with that. And most bows, uh, believe it or not, don't even have special arrows, and that's pretty sad. For example, the legendary bow from Sylvanas from Shadowlands doesn't have special um, arrows, which is really, really sad. Oh, I think I'm gonna purchase this. <laughs> okay, I don't really care much for the pets, usually. Uh, it's a bit much. And it's always clipping into the face, I don't like that. Well, that is definitely a sword. Ah, World of Warcraft Twitter went crazy about this. So everything is very, very Valentine's Day themed. Is that a staff? It's a wand. I somehow prefer the old ones. I don't know what it is about these new models, but I feel like they lose some of the charm. I don't know, but that's maybe just my World of Warcraft boomer ass. That was a very fast buy. Ever you since Wrath, I always wanted to have a um, a cloak like Arthur says. And I'm still waiting for the blue one, but soon. So, I wanted to do a little interlude. Not care so much about getting pets, but trying to finish this trading post ASAP. Because I want my pink outfit. But first we need to go back where we were questing because someone left to go to Stormwind to look at the trading post. And then we also can sell all our stuff. Okay, we can't because we have the story of Morgan Ledimore. 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 Morgan Ledimore. Ledimore. I have no idea. Please shut up, bear. Oh yeah, and I can also use this. Let's go. Oh, money. What can I do for you? Ah, uh, you can fly me back to Darkshire, good sir. Thank you very much. Oh, we can see the sun going up. Wow. It's beautiful, and I, I can also see that I have a smudge on my screen. That's very annoying. Can't get it off. It's wasteful over there. Still not going there. Okay. But while we're flying, let's check this out again. Okay, we can do quests. That's the easy part. There's a lot of cataclysm stuff. I don't know if... I think this should already count if we're just gathering stuff here. And the time walking we can't do yet because we're too small. I'm so glad that I have a little bit of free time during this event because they added a bunch of stuff that I really want to have. Okay, complete quests in Kalimdor. We can also do that. Is that... That is also on top of the quest thingy. Well, that's good. Yeah. Dark Moon Fair Arcade Game? What's the arcade game? Remembery Barrels of Fun? Oh, so we're gonna have new games at the Dark Moon Fair, huh? Well, that's cool. First, let's get this ore back to the grind, baby. I can also queue up for a dungeon again, although considering my last encounter in a dungeon with a pet name, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> now I'm always gonna check my teammates' pet names before I before I decide to put something in a recording or not. So, we stopped here. We were killing some web spiders and gathering some dusky dusky lumps from them. And we're almost level 15, that's also. Ah, rested bonus for XP. Isn't it nice? You can also check if the rare mob has respawned, probably, because this is a bunch of days after my last recording, because I've been busy um, actually editing the former videos and given the fact that it was my first and second video to ever edit took quite a long time i had to figure out so much stuff but so far it's been a blast so much new stuff this and that okay um well it doesn't really matter what we choose oh yeah i really want to send myself the ores that i have on my avatar characters so uh, we can skill engineering soon four of six I just realized we're next to Stranglethorn Vale, and in Stranglethorn Vale we're going to have so many rare pets. So maybe we're just gonna finish these quests, hand them in, and then just head out to the jungle and tame some cool beasts there. 
I initially wanted to level a Shadow Priest because I just love playing Shadow Priest, but now that I'm just brainlessly killing everything around me without ever stopping to cast, I, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I decided against it. Terrapis. Yeah, that's also a nice pet. That is like an old school turtle. I mean, we can look for it if we're on the shore side anyway. I know we're never gonna get anything done. That's also something I already realized while editing the former two parts. Nothing's ever gonna get done around these parts. I'm in combat with what? I mean, what other mount could we use? That maybe doesn't annoy me with its loud roaring every time I mount up. Hmm. What did I just say about we're just gonna hand in the quest and then be on our merry way? Now I'm running down the stream looking for a turtle. And I don't even like turtles that much. Oh, never mind. I love turtles. Turtles are my favorite pets in the entire world. Can't wait to tame this turtle. I mean, that is a pretty cool turtle. Now kill for me. Good pet. Now we only have to run all the way back to Darkshire worth it but while we're doing that i can look for another mount hmm. yeah okay the bear has to go those sounds are just annoying <laughs> um, hmm. oh but does it fit with the theme not so much oh lupus where where is he second i'm not watching we're missing a rare mob hmm. well lupus you're living my boy uh, now it even <laughs> you know what yeah Let's be an alliance girly, through and through. There's so many cool things in WoW that sometimes I forget how cool griffins are. I think for once we're gonna do what we actually wanted to do and go to Stranglethorn. I know we didn't kill Moladim yet and I should have done it while I was back there anyway. <laughs> God damn it. Can you teach me how to cook? No you can't. Well, what kind of chef are you? The hell? I want my interrupt. We're doing enough damage as it is. Yeah, we're gonna go to Stranglethorn Valley. But I can't wait to tame Arcturus. It's just so majestic with his transluent, transluent, translucent, see-through, blue fur and teeth and eyes. It just looks cool. I hope they never rework his model. If they rework his model and he also looks bubbly and not as edgy, literally edgy anymore, then I'm gonna be a very, very sad boy. I should probably just do quests until I have my flair. But no. We're finally doing what I said was the premise of this little video series in the beginning. Oh, will we? <laughs> we kind of have to do quests for uh, the trading post. Oh, I did. Again, I didn't think this through. But, but, we're just gonna do the quest with Messingwary Junior. Because then we're gonna go where all the, um, all the beasts are anyway. And then we can tame and kill at the same time. Very hunter thing to do. And there's the ram up, the carved one. I swear, it's not me, it's the oars. We're gonna make it to Stranglethorn. Trust. Eventually. <laughs> at some point. Why are we not rested at all? Girlie was standing in Stormwind for an eternity. Pandaria. Oh, there's also time working, Mr. Pandaria. This activity has not begun yet. Huh. Shame. Well. Can't believe that we stopped questing in Darkshire just to quest now in Stranglethorn. But you know what? It's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, Mahamba, I think, is a really cool crocolisk. And it's the Cataclysm model. I think it was Cataclysm that it got uh, released. And first we're gonna go to Nessingwery anyway. A once friend told me that this used to be like this big classic quest chain where you have to take this pod and bring it all down here. And it was really hard because back in the day you couldn't ride and stuff like that. I think it was the same in Wrath still. But I even remember that I quested here in Wrath. But that's so long ago that I, I bet it was horrible. But I don't remember the horrible part. I just remember that I really like this jungle. Oh yeah. Look at this little fella. I mean, oh, we look we look real nice together. Yeah. Yeah, nothing very. Oh, I remember. This this used to be death because there are these frenzies in the water, like these piranhas, 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 piranhas. I ah, know. The small fish with the with the sharp teeth and they used to hurt, man. These things like uh, my first ever character was a warlock, an undead warlock and Holy hell, another person. And um, I remember just getting absolutely annihilated by these frenzies again and again. And I did not really realize what was even going on because I was a kid. <laughs> these hired guns, you used to be able to... Um, 
pickpocket them as a rogue. And they were giving quite a nice coin. What can I do for you? Great to meet you. You got my attention. Life be with you. Okay, now we have a bunch of quests and we have so many quests. <laughs> yeah. They want us to do more, right? <laughs> Please tell me they want us to gather more than just 50. I need those points, man. Oh, and there is the next realm of there was an ore here, right? Oh yeah, there. Tin is very good. Excuse you. Tiger hunting. Oh yeah, I clap for myself. That's so smooth. I know that one of these quests rewards you in the end for uh, with a maze that looks like a uh, bone. A white bone. And I used to do this quest all the time with classes that can wear one-hand maces just because back in the day when uh, transmogging was first introduced in the game you had to actually own the thing you wanted to transmog on the character that you wanted to transmog it on so you had to redo quests and dungeons and raids depending on which item you wanted for what character for example i had a boomkin a rogue and a monk so on all three of them i had to do uh, blackrock temple to get the cursed vision of sageras it's called right the blindfold illidan's blindfold i think that's what it's called all right young panthers they're always annoying to get because they are in stealth i mean it's not as annoying if you're still on level with them it's really bleh if you want to do it on a high level character for like transmog or for the uh, lore master. I can only recommend to walk as close to these trees as possible because as you can see they stalk all around the roots of the trees. That's usually how you can shoo them out of stealth because they're gonna attack you no matter your level if you're close enough. Green Hills of the Stranglethorn, page 14. Yeah, I, I, I know what this is in homage to. That used to be a very, like, I, I don't think it was a quest chain per se. I think you could just gather a lot of pages of this uh, green green hills of stranglethorn book and then you can all you could always uh, hand them into nessingvary or to someone in his base i remember that you could sell some of them for an insane amount of gold on the auction house and i know that i got that achievement of like finishing up that quest and i was back in my mom's guild back then and one of the dudes there that was not taking kindly of like a 12 year old playing better wow than them or being better at wow than them completely freaked out and called me a lucky idiot for getting the pages so quickly uh yeah little word of advice don't be jealous of children <laughs> it's never a good look always a bit weird okay how do i get up here without sliding down ah there's always this one place or this one part of the mountain that isn't too steep that you can always climb up because in these like sometimes it might look like you would need a flying mount to get up there which would make sense because this is already reworked cataclysm um classic uh uh, locations. It's a reworked classic location where you could fly in theory but these are low-level parts of it so you never need a flying mount to get up there because there's always gonna be a way that you can get up there without flying. There's something so relaxing about playing a hunter in World of Warcraft. It's just you know you're doing a silly little thing and it works and with most classes obviously it's like this in low level but the thing is with hunters it's just gonna stay like this forever you're never gonna struggle much <laughs> all right i still need a lot of jungle remedies oh call pet three that's nice and also beast cleave now if we would go into a dungeon that would probably already make such a difference although we're missing the faster focus regeneration like you can feel it while playing not in the low level per se but like if you're used to a beast master on higher levels you it's just very noticeable that you're always running low on focus my god can you guys just give me the last jungle remedy i don't want to kill your people like this but but you guys right you're gonna have it Oh yeah, you do. Oh, and the lash tail hatchling. Yeah, that's a nice quest line. I mean, the the end of it is is still so insanely buggy. I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, I can I can do it for a tutorial, but <laughs> I don't really want to. 
like what you do is you raise this little uh, lash tail hatchling and in the end it's getting stolen by one of the bosses in Zulgarub and then you're being sent there and your spirit is I think transformed into your little hatchling so you can save it and it's a really fun thing to do because you have to get out of this uh, dungeon basically by not you know not running into any npcs and like using special abilities that you're gathering along the way but the thing is that it's like cataclysm world of warcraft so it's um buggy <laughs> at best and unplayable at worst all right how are we doing here nine quests huh and the oars what about the oars Hmm. Oh, complete 10 quests. Easy. Give me your tumbled crystals, my guys. Thank you. All right. Panthers, obviously. And we can already kill Elder Stranglelord Tigers. And for the Raptors, we have to go west. There are no young Panthers in your area, huh? Oh, there's one out of stealth. Ah, never mind. Where you at? There you are. Yeah, I think we're gonna hand in these quests. And then we're gonna continue killing our way through the jungle oh now you all want my booty sure this is all not better than what we already wearing beautiful do i want to get up there i mean it's tin yeah i kind of do let's hand in these quests and we're gonna have a level up we're gonna go up there Ooh. epic bracers now that's an upgrade from 9 to 50. <laughs> all right what do we have here oh yeah post haste or how i like to call it pot haste because i don't read the stuff that i'm reading that was easier than I thought. All right, I'm just going to act like I did not just take an eight hour break because I took a long nap <laughs> and it's dark now. <laughs> it's literally night. I think the last time I recorded, the sun was just getting up, but I really needed that. And um, we're back on the grind now. And I just saw that it's actually also on top of Almost Love in the Air, it's the Luna Festival. And I'm not quite sure if there are new rewards. I know there are a bunch of new rewards for Love is in the Air, so I was hoping maybe. But also, since it's Luna Festival, we're gonna put in one of our flower crowns. Ah yeah, that one. We can actually get these as a permanent transmog that is not only available during the festival. I have almost all of them. I think one of them I didn't do because I was lazy. So maybe we can do that together during the event. This one, it's the crown of prosperity usually, but if you do a little, it's not really a quest chain, but it's more like a travel thing. And if you do that, then you get the crown for every time of the year. So we can look that up. But I know that you have to travel a lot. So probably before we can fly, that's not a good idea. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot what I had to do. So I just ran to one of the quests that we hadn't handed in. We have a lot of stuff to kill. Yeah, let's first go here. I don't think it really matters where we start. Oh yeah, and I need to call my pet Mahamba. This Cataclysm model looks so sleek. And so, I don't know, in a way, to me... <laughs> It combines this old, chunky, edgy WoW style with the slightly softer one that they started to do in Cataclysm perfectly. But maybe that's just me. But I can't wait to tame more Cataclysm pets. Oh, hello. Get out of there, people. These are probably all people that you kind of know if you quested this in Classic. And it's probably uh, and it's probably a big huma homage. Or it's an inside joke. Maybe all these people have names of real life people. It's either one or the other, <laughs> but I have no idea. The good thing is if you take a nap for nine hours, that when you log back in, that all the ores have respawned that you mined previously. So that's a little tip right there for your gameplay. Not getting anything done because there's always an ore somewhere. Oh no, my little, my little hatchling. Beast. Yes. Oh, we, we don't even have to go into the mine yet. Because I remember that you have to go into the mine and kill a bunch of people. So I think for now we're gonna ignore the ore, even though it's really hard to do. I don't know what it is, but if I see an ore on my minimap, I have to kill it. I have to kill it? Wait, no. I have to mine it. I've been playing so much Pokemon that I was thinking, oh my god, that's a shiny crystal spine basilisk. That is the one thing I always really liked about the 
way that you got legendaries back in Legion because if if you don't know in Legion they added a bunch of new stuff and one of the things that they added were legendaries that had like lore and background from all over the Azeronian world and they could just drop from basically anything like you could do a world quest and bam legendary you could win a battleground and bam legendary you could kill a raid boss and legendary and the thing with that was that obviously it was not really farmable which meant that you could start a character play them but you were not getting a legendary to begin with but you were also not getting the legendary that you needed i remember when i started my first hunter that i told you about i actually got the legendary that um, decreased the cooldowns of all my aspect abilities which wasn't bad but wasn't good either and there were like three other different legendaries that were super OP and that you kind of needed but back then I was mostly raiding in an heroic guild a one day heroic guild so it did not matter that much to me but I know that many many people were very unhappy about the way that you acquired legendaries and I think they only fixed that in the last patch of the expansion when you could finally buy legendaries from a vendor but didn't have to rely on this randomness but what I liked about that when you got these legendaries, it honestly felt exactly the way it feels when you find a shiny in Pokemon. Because it was just this, you were hunting for it, but not exactly, and then all of a sudden it just happened. It always made me very happy, but yeah, I completely understand. And I also felt how that was super annoying. Like I remember that people started characters, and depending on the first legendary that they got, they might not continue playing that character. And with that being said, I'm gonna end tonight's episode right here. Thank you for watching and see you next time.